What is up, YouTube? <clears throat> Figured I'd do a video today. Uh, try not to make this thing last forever. Uh, got some stuff to show you that I got. Um, yesterday, I uh, went and picked up. I had a few books to pick up in my bin. I picked up, picked up the gimp, and uh, we went uh, going through our normal comic comic shops and uh, half price books and checking places out. Um, I didn't have a whole lot. I'm like, yeah, this is all the books I have from you know my pull list and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and go through those real quick. Uh, first up, we have Batman Arkham Knight Genesis number four. I love this cover too. Harley Quinn on it, drawing like a little lips or whatever, a little smile on Arkham Knight's uh, mask. There, love that. Um, it has been a pretty good book so far. Um, I think there's only two issues left. In that storyline, and then next up we got uh, Star Wars number twelve. Still loving this book, pretty good. I don't know how long they're gonna have the series go on. I'm not sure, uh, but it's been pretty good so far. Um, I've been liking it. And then I also got had to get the action figure variant. Yeah, I got Greedo this time. I love these action figure variants of the books. And it's cool because my shop always gives me gives them to us at cover price. Which is really nice because they're like my old shop would charge, you know, six, seven, eight dollars. And then I've seen some charge a lot more for them. So, and then my, um, I got it on my shop. I put this in my box because I figured I'd like it. Check it out. Usually there's cool stuff like that. Got Vader Down number one. Um, this book was pretty cool. Um, I mean, as you can expect, to expect from Darth Vader kicking ass. So this was a pretty cool book, um, but it's going to be, a, this is part one of six, so I believe the artwork is pretty cool too. Um, it's going to cross over uh, between the next issues of Star Wars and Darth Vader back and forth. So I don't think they're going to, it's just this is the kickoff of that story arc that they're doing. Um, got a couple Hulkback issues. Um, I picked up, I uh, didn't really have a lot at my shop as far as back issues go. I got number 302. So that's another one marked off the list there. And this issue I got from my good, good friend Gippy. Um, he hooked me up with some really cool shit this weekend. Um, Gippy is by far, I mean, he's just a really good friend, real good dude in general, you know. Um, we always kind of trade comments and stuff back and forth, you know. And he's. He's just all around cool dude. Um, he knows I'm wanting to try to get the Hulk run complete, you know, all the issues, plus including the annuals too. Um, so he went ahead and hooked me up with uh, Hulk annual number one. He didn't get me bag and board. I would need to buy some uh, some Silver Age bags. I want to try to put all these in Mylar because um, this bag's kind of in rough shape, but issues in good shape. And yeah, so I was really, really ecstatic to get that. I thought that was awesome of him to me up with that. So again, buddy, thank you. You're an amazing dude. Um, and then I, I didn't even really know he was going to do this. Um, he was looking for something out in his garage, and we come across a couple action figures he threw my way. Now these were made by Kenner, I think, back in '93. Um, it came as a dual combo pack. It was Predator and Alien. So he's like, here, man, you know, you can have these. Because he knows I dig anything, Alien and Predator. So I'm like, hell yeah, dude. So that was really cool of him. So a couple of these are posable and they are articulated to some extent. But, uh, yeah, can always put out cool shit. But this thing, like, I cannot believe he gave me this. Um, he hooked me up with this. And uh, I was actually talking to uh, Picasta about this. About a week ago, when he put out a video showing his uh, original 1980s superpowers Batman, and I had a lot of those figures and everything, and they all kind of got lost, torn up by my little brother over the years, and you know, and now that I'm older, I you know think about that stuff. But this was really, really cool of him. He actually gave me um, this. Isn't the actual superpowers Batman? It's the Michael Keaton. This was from. I think, what year was this? 90. So this was like right after the movie was out. They started doing all the little little figures. So that was cool. And then he also gave me, now this wasn't the actual 
original superpowers. This actually is from 89, I believe. It's similar, just the legs don't squeeze as you do the karate action chop that Robin does. He's got like a little thing on the back here. It's, but it's still cool. It looks like the goofy little Robin they had back then. Cake are still the same. So I thought that was cool. But this right here was just fucking amazing. I can't believe this dude did this for me. He hooked me up with the 1984 Superpowers Batmobile. Complete. Everything works. All the stickers are on there. I need to get a better camera set up so it'll be a little clearer. But hopefully you guys can see this. And the headlights still pop up. Um, still got the steering wheel. Um, the battering ram still works just fine. As you can see, it comes out. Still has a clicker noise too. So when you drive it around, and they say that noise, I guess that was supposed to simulate the roaring sound of the Batmobile's engines. And this thing, you know, I always thought was funny that they did on the back here. This was like a grapple that would drag enemies off. Um, kind of seems like a cool way to drag people off, but you push that out, and that little grappler comes out. And then you just push it back in. But yeah, this thing's like awesome. I mean, I can't believe I have this now. I mean, it, this literally took me back 30 years. Um, you know, and I mean, this is just, I can't thank him enough for giving me a piece of my childhood back. I mean, this is amazing. Because I was looking for one, and I told the cops, I was like, I gotta find one. I need to find one. And they're pretty pricey on uh, eBay. I mean, they're. Broken ones are selling for like insane prices. Not complete, missing windows, missing the steering wheels, stuff don't work. But I mean, the wheels are all still nice and chrome. The body is in fantastic shape, still nice and shiny. And everything still works. This is complete. I'm definitely displaying this um, back in my man cave. This is definitely going to. Well, I just loved this thing when I was a kid. It was just freaking awesome. It was one of the best Christmases I ever had. So, Gimpy Buddy. Thank you, brother. You know, you're just you're just a good dude, man. And Christmas came early for me this year, it really did. So this is this is awesome, really awesome. I didn't expect this at all, and I just can't thank the dude enough. So yeah, so it was really cool. So he hooked me up with a couple extra figures, and now since I got this, I gotta go back. I need to find like all the original figures I used to have. So I'll be on the hunt for those, on the lookout for them, because I want to go back and collect them again. Those were some of the best toys I remember having as a child, but. You know, just having Batman and Robin rolling in the Batmobile. Love it, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing gift. Thank you, dude. Okay, finally, um, so I don't go too long and put you guys to sleep. I, uh, I think I mentioned in a couple of my videos, I subscribe to uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty sub subscription box. Um, I've never been a big fan of Loot Crate. Um, I, I tried Nerd Block for a few months. That was not doing it for me. This box, though, is the same price, and it's similar to the Marvel's Collector Core box. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I think I've seen a couple people get them. But when I saw this, I was like, yeah, i got to do it. It's pretty much set up the same way. It's 25 bucks every other month. So it's a six-month subscription versus, a, you know, you're not getting one every month. But still, this is great. So open this bad boy up and show you guys what I've got in here. I like the box, too. It's got Kylo Ren on it. Now this this is exclusive only with so this is exclusive licensed Disney Star Wars Lucas uh, film stuff and they partnered up with Funko so everything you're getting in here is legit Funko Star Wars related it's not a knockoff or anything like that so that's really cool this month was Force Awakens theme so. What I'll do is, after I show you guys this stuff, I'll make sure I put the description down below um, so you guys can check it out. I think the next, not next month, the month after January is when the next one is going to come out. Um, so it's going to be Rebel Alliance themed, I believe. So I know this box shipped with two exclusive Funkos. Um, every other month, unless I do something special, is supposed to include at least one exclusive Funko Pop and a shirt and stuff like that. So let's open this up and see what we got here. Oh, this is cool. Um, now, the Marvel ones I've seen, you get like a pen and a patch, so I'm thinking they're going to maybe do this the same way. Um, let's make sure you guys can see this. This is a first order, uh, looks like TIE Fighter 
squadron patch that you get. So that's pretty cool. I like I would definitely collect those. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. And then we've got well, I didn't move it around, did they? Looks like we got here the pins that come. This is a uh, Kylo Ren pin. So you can see that okay. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm open this bad boy up here. Ooh, we got a shirt right off the bat. Looks like we got some kind of. Let's open this thing up here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they ask you for your shirt size like all the other subscriptions do. So, you get a shirt. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Looks like we got some kind of uh, Funko Pop Stormtrooper up here. And yep, this is Life by Funko in Star Wars, as you can see. Right there, looks like we got a first order stormtrooper on there. So that's cool. I like that. It's pretty awesome looking. That's a cool shirt. I like that. I dig that. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's a cool shirt. I'll definitely wear that. <clears throat> Ooh, we got a lanyard, it looks like. Well, use this for work. Um, yeah, Star Wars Force Awakens lanyard. You got little stormtroopers on there. So that's pretty cool. And here are our pop figures. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Looks like we got a exclusive. This is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. This is a TIE Fighter pilot. I'll get them out of the box for you guys here in a second. And then, because I don't keep them in the box, I like to explain them out. This is awesome. This is, uh, I know they did one for Captain Phasma already, but this is the, they did an exclusive where they actually made it chrome. So she's chrome plated. So that's pretty awesome. I'll, I'll pull these out of the box. I believe that's it. So that's cool. Definitely cool for a first box. Um, it's awesome. And the cool thing is, is you're getting this stuff, this stuff's exclusive to this box, not something you just go buy anywhere. So that's pretty sweet. You know, well, except for eBay or a reseller will probably have it for four hundred dollars. You know how they roll. Oh, this is cool. I like this. They're all bobbleheads, so that's kind of cool. But here's the uh, Tie Fighter pilot. I think that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. I like that. Go ahead and open up the Captain Phasma here. Yeah, I thought this was really cool when I seen this. Well, I think I saw it on a preview, but it said because it said it was gonna definitely be included in any of the pops that you got. Oh yeah, this is cool. I like this. That looks really good and detailed. That's pretty badass. I like that. Of course, all of Marvel's um, Funkos are bobblehead. Every one of them are. Which is fine with me. You just got to be careful with the heads. They don't so tear up. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty awesome. So that's cool. Yeah. Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box. I'll make sure I put the link in the description for you guys because I know the majority of you, like me, love Star Wars. And I just want to ask real quick, did anybody get the, get the uh, Star Wars Battlefront game? Um, I went ahead and picked it up. I had high hopes for it. Um, it's fun, but it's not what it could be. It's just sad that EA is so greedy that they wanted to push a game out way before it was really done, and there's just such a lack of content in it. I, you know, that's the way I feel about it, in my opinion. Uh, they could have done so much more with it, and they didn't. This is laziness on EA's part, and then pretty much taking advantage of one of the biggest IPs in the world. You know, and they could have sky's the limit for Star Wars. You know, um, so yeah, I was really disappointed in the lack of content in the game. The game looks great. Um, the audio and stuff is great. Um, just the game modes aren't that fun. You know, it's just they gave us so little for. You know, a sixty dollar game. You work hard. You spend all your hard-earned money on it. Something like that. You're expecting to be awesome. 
and then they just abuse it, you know, kind of like Star Wars kind of sets me. So, but anyway, guys, enough bitching about EA because they're, they're not going to stop being the way they are. Um, just want to show you guys this stuff. Um, I hope all of you have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Um, you to spend some time with your families and just enjoy the holiday, relax, take a break for a while. Um, remember what's important. So, um, to all you guys out there, happy holidays and. Talk to you soon.